What's going on guys? Today is Saturday. It is the next week and we are actually going to be pulling out the single cam right now. And currently I actually did sell my bronzes. Waiting for the guy to come to pick them up. But that's long gone. Still got the racing green ones. And we're going to be putting regas on the car today. Thank you very much Javi for unmounting or dismounting and remounting the tires on my regas. And then Got off for work yesterday and my dad, no not my dad, my brother already pulled out like the suspension bits, some coils. And now we're going to pull everything out, pull the single cam out today. Uh, I feel like I don't really need to like show you guys because pull on single cams or whatever. I want to get more in depth in putting in the case swap and doing all the lines, doing the shifter and everything. So it's a lot more better because how many times have you seen people pull out single cams or B series? Same process. So... Yeah, but we have a lot of friends coming over today, and yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. I think Carl's gonna be putting his exhaust on his EF today because my friend Jose is coming from Riverside to deliver a RSR exhaust for the EF. So that's cool. And everybody else is coming, Lee, got KJ, everybody. So pretty much they're just for fun homies cruising by, you know, just one of those big moments getting ready for a K swap. And I do have a lot of parts for sale, so check out my Instagram because I do. Post up, well, I started leaving the posters up when I'm selling stuff, so if it's for, if it's sold, then I'll make it sold on the listing, so you guys don't have to keep asking. So I just decided to just leave posters there because I used to just delete them and everything. Uh, but yeah, check out my Instagram because I do have a Jay's Racing Wing for EK Hatch in there. A couple other goodies too that I gotta ship out, so yep, I'll keep you guys updated on the process, just like here and there because yeah, like I said, just a single cam. <laughs> More just completely out. We took off the soft frame. Don't worry, I will make an in-depth video of how to put this in. It's really easy though. Uh, I have no idea why a lot of people ask how to remove a soft frame. It's literally only what, eight bolts. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we decided just to take it out with the sand rack and the power steering so no power steering fluid gets anywhere. There's axles, everything, all this stuff. Well, all the stuff we're not going to be using, we're going to post up for sale on my Instagram, so check that out. Huh? I don't know. There's Lee. There's Kevin. There's Bommy. Hi! Yeah, Barlitos. Just put in his little quick release hub. And then Jose is coming by to drop off the RSR exhaust for this car. Because this shit's straight pipe. And it's too loud. You gotta fix the ticket. Check out these tips. Because there's a straight pipe, all one piece. And then you got Ian's hatch SSR type F's. Pretty sick wheels. You need some tire shine though, but clean, clean. You got Lee's Integra. Looking the same. You got KG back with the Randall kit. He also did lower his car more. And got new tires. 225 45 Archibate R's. 16 by 8 plus 35 Regas. Spoons. So clean. Oh, he actually bought a tan shift up? Yeah. Woo! 
love it. And no spacers, because these are the 35 offsets, so they do clear the calipers. So it's the next following day, or no, like two days later. I uh, just got off work, and then my brother was working on the car while I was at work. And he decided to clean it up a little bit before we get it ready for paint. Still has to do the firewall because uh, still have to do a couple things. Got to push this inside. This is the ECU and the headlight harness. And then also got to disconnect the slave and the remove the whole clutch line. Got the fuel filter. Got to take that out. And then what I'm gonna do is just like my hatch in my other car. I'm gonna cut the cut the hard line right here. This is the fuel return. Cut it right here and cut it right here. And then we're gonna put uh, two uh, high pressure fittings on there, dash six for fuel. This one is just the little, well this one is. This one's the breather for the gas tank. I'm just gonna cut that and just leave it. Uh, heater hose, we're gonna take those out. We're keeping it, of course. Uh, we're still gonna have the heater in the car. We're gonna pull the booster out to paint the firewall and also all of this stuff. The other end of the headlight harness. And uh, gonna tuck the wiper motor wire. We're gonna pull it out and then run it behind here and through here. I'm gonna be doing the deep pitting method. So it'll be a lot more um, cleaner. We don't have to cut any wires or anything. Just gonna deep pin it and repin it. Uh, oh, but here's the original white. My brother took off the AC sticker. That's what it should look like. But it's uh, the car is a uh, 98, so it's been a couple years since it's been even touched. Uh, but yeah, and then paint-wise, oh yeah, but check that out. The car looks so good on the Rega Masters. Woo! Have to adjust the rear fitment a little bit, but it'd be good. And I gotta, I'm getting my stickers tomorrow. What's up, Loki? I'm gonna get my stickers tomorrow, so we're probably gonna put those on tomorrow. And then this is the paint we're going to be using for the engine bay. First oleum because um, when I did the hatch, I got custom paint cans made, pretty much like my paint coat in a can. And doing that method is a lot more expensive because you're almost paying $20 to $30 a can. And with the rust oleum, since the car is white, white matches pretty well with each other. So we're going to be using this. This is probably like $4 a can. And we have four cans. But also, we bought 2K clear. So we're gonna be using the Rust-Oleum, four cans of this for coat, and the clear coat. So with this 2K, it will come out super, super shiny. And if we wanted to wet sand it and buff it, we can. But we're probably gonna leave because it is just an engine bay. Uh, and it'll look exactly like this. This is literally rattle canned with 2K clear. Didn't get wet sand or anything. And holds up really well and nice and glossy. So that's that. And this hood I actually have to trim right here. It's hitting, so I have to fix that. Um, but yeah, this is the paint we're gonna be using. What else? We got his. Was it the compliance bushings for the new LCA's sway bar bushings for the front? That's all there. Uh, yeah, just a lot of stuff. Uh, Oh, and uh, thank you to the homie Tan. I'm actually helping Tan part out his car right now. This is his Jay's Racing Wing. If anyone's interested, $1,300. Um, I don't think anyone is, but let me know. And this, I'm very happy about this. So, Tan actually hooked it up. And before I was saying that we're missing an engine harness, uh, the conversion harness, and the ECU. But luckily, since Tan was parting out his car, he generously offered it to us first and what well, perfect timing because we needed it so we do have a rye wire uh case swap budget harness and also the uh was it the conversion harness where you're clustering everything to work so that's all in here too um this is the i think this is the conversion harness or i'm kind of lost looking at this but that's that also thank you to tan again for ecu with K Pro. So, and I gotta take off these stickers and gonna gotta rip these off. But yeah, so there's K Pro in here. Perfect. Ready to get to it. And 
We're missing a TPS, so he also hooked it up with a K Tune TPS. Then we're missing for a K Tune uh, 72 mil throttle body. Um, yeah, so we pretty much have everything. So once we get the motor in, finish all the fuel lines, the shifter set up. Well, we can start the car without the shifters. Gotta make sure it's in neutral though. And then we could turn it on and yeah, because we got it all. Part is gonna change the two another to like a regular, just a K20 base map and just leave it like that. But from now on, we're gonna get more detailed videos because this is the time to put the K in and not pulling the single cam out, which everybody, which you can find everywhere else on YouTube. So get ready for the K boys. And shit, them ragged masses look good.